Hi and welcome to this demonstration. My name is Björn and in this demonstration I'm going to show you a little trick that I'm, uh, I'll teach you in the Understanding SharePoint Journal issue number five which is called uh, Beginning SharePoint Development. Now what I'm going to teach you here is how you can use a list instance element in a feature to populate a list with data. So what I have here, I'm just going to start this uh, start a deployment here so we can uh, can get that going. Uh, what I have here is a standard list instance element. It'll basically create a custom list here. As you can see, this uh, feature for the custom list uh, feature and the template type 100. Um, and, and I'm going to deploy this uh, this uh, feature now and, and just going to create a new uh, new list instance here first. So we'll go into the site settings page here and it'll probably take a few seconds because we have to restart the, uh, the application pool once, the, once you have deployed a new solution. So uh, once we uh, get into that page in just a few moments, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm running this still on a, a very slow virtual machine here and I'm just running on a gig of, of memory. So it might take a, few, a couple of seconds to, to actually get the application pool to restart. So once we get back into the site settings page here, we can go to the site features. As you can see, we now have the My List instance um, uh, feature uh, ready. So we just activate that. And uh, once that activates, we can go into onto the front page again. We can check out in the menu that we actually have our new list instance created here. So if you go into this, this list now, you'll see that there are no items here at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add uh, a, a set of um, data rows here uh, in, inside the list instance here. So basically adding a row here for the first list item and the second list item. Uh, so uh, as you can see, it's the same um, the same feature that I'm, uh, I used to actually create a list. So we'll, we'll actually have to, to rebuild the, the WSP here before we before we um, uh, deploy it. So uh, we'll have to restart the deployment here. And just have to excuse me for a second while that happens. So we'll go into WSP Builder menu and we'll hit upgrade. That'll basically deploy our new new site uh, or new uh, list instance uh, feature here. And now, as I said, it contains two data rows here. So once the upgrade is complete, we can go back into the site settings here. And again, this will take just a couple of seconds for the application pool to restart. And then once that happens, we'll try to uh, deactivate and reactivate the feature and we'll see what happens. Uh, now, uh, you might not know this, but uh, if you have a list instance feature and you deactivate that feature, uh, the, the list instance doesn't disappear, it, it doesn't get deleted in any way. So, so what you're actually doing is you're just deactivating the feature, but the list remains, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll try, try this out now. We'll deactivate the feature first, we'll say yes to deactivate it. And if you go back to the front page, uh, you'll see that we still have the list added to, to our quick launch menu, as you can see here. Uh, and again, there's no, there's no, there are no items here. So we'll go into the site settings page now and we'll try to reactivate the, the list instance feature now containing the data rows as you can see here. Uh, we'll activate it and then we'll go into the list. And now you'll see that you actually have two items here. So one of the things you can do to, uh, to uh, you, or one of the, the ways you would use this technique is, for instance, if you want to pre-populate some sample data into a list or, or something like that. Uh, what you should be aware of, though, is that if you now uh, do the same thing again, if you go into the site settings and you reactivate the feature, once again, we'll just deactivate it first and then we'll activate it again, you actually get the items added again. So we now go into the list instance and you see now that you actually have four items here. So uh, one way you could, uh, could uh, work with this is to actually have one list instance create the, uh, the list and then you have a second uh, list instance feature which will be exactly the same uh, but that contains the actual sample data that you want to install and then you activate the sample data feature to uh, to get the, the data added to your list instance so that way you can sort of reactivate and deactivate your list instance uh, to, to create a list without uh, having to, to add the new new data or add additional data every time
so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this demonstration. Now, of course, you'll, if you want to know more about this, uh, this uh, understanding SharePoint journal issue, you should sign up for the mailing list, and I'll put the address up on the screen right now. And uh, you should sign up for the mailing list, as I said, and you'll be notified when the issue releases. And of course, you'll, you'll receive a ton of other bonuses as well. So sign up, and thank you for now.